بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربش رحلی صدری و یسلی امری وحل القطۃ بلسان ہی افقا قولی السلام علیکم ٹو آل آف یو دس از می مریم حسن ہیئر اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اور انگلش کلاس ود گریٹ فائیو ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اور لیکچر فرام لینگویج ٹو ورک بک آف گریٹ فائیو سو آئی ہوپ آل آف یو آر ہیونگ ورک بکس ان یور ہینڈس ٹیک اے پینسل بیکاز وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز لیکچر فرام پیج نمبر ففٹی فور آف لینگویج ٹو ورک بک Unit number 14 is here on page number 54 of workbook synopsis of the play as you guys uh, remember that we have read we read unit number 14 synopsis of the play from language tree book language tree textbook that was a story about Hossein and Ali uh, between two friends who um, Ali was uh, a businessman and Ali went to the world tour he had a jar of olives and he gave this jar of olive to Hossein and all that and that was the story between Ali and Hossein uh, Hossein didn't give back the jar of olive to Ali so how did Ali uh, got his jar of olive back we read all that story on from the language textbook today again we have a story on page number 54 of workbook synopsis of the play and they have said us that we will have to write a paragraph about each picture to continue the story use your imagination to add more detail okay now Starting the story in picture number one, they have said us that one day when they were playing in the garden, Amir and Shami found something strange. Okay, here in this story, we have two characters, a girl and a boy. Let's see, let's say a girl is um, Shami, Shami and boy is Amir. What they are, how they have started the story that one day, Amir and Shami was playing in the they were playing in the garden so they found something strange so looking in the picture we can say that here they found something strange what was what strange thing was that that was a key a large key and they was very um, shocked to the uh, look at that key because this one key was very large and they they picked this one key in their hands they um, they returned back to their homes okay and no but before that you can say that in the first picture they found a key they were playing they found a key in their hand and they were very shocked to see that key because this was a very large key okay let's move toward the picture number two okay now what happened <clears throat> during their play what they found they found a key and again they saw something look they started looking around that maybe they uh, they got something else apart from that key so yes they found a box of treasure okay here is the box of treasure they found it and they found a key obviously in the first picture they found a key as well so they started opening the lock of that treasure box with the key and and yes they were successful they opened the box with the key and what they found they were very surprised to see that that box was full of jewelry full of treasure full of gold whatever you can write you can see whatever you can see in the picture you can write uh, with your own imagination that uh, but what i can see in the box is jewelry and uh, like treasure simply you can write there the box was full of treasure listen it way carefully girls and boys because you will have to write the story by yourself in these lines given i am just explaining the pictures you will have to write them uh, you, you will have to write the sentences of your own and you will have to complete the story okay so here in second picture they opened the box they were very really shocked to see that the box was full of trigger okay and they decided to divide that trigger on both of them equally okay amir said to shami that we will divide this trigger equally now but shami the one who was a girl he was she was very greedy she got greedy at that time and she thought that why shouldn't i take all this trigger by myself only so what did she uh, do in the night she went back in the garden and she tried to dig up 
the ground and she tried to hide all that treasure in that ground might be she was thinking that she will say uh, she will say to uh, shami uh, she will say to amir that she lost all the uh, uh, treasure and after that she will take away all the treasure from that and she will be the owner of that treasure all alone so she, what she what did she do she dug up all the ground uh, she dug up the ground in the garden and she hide all that treasure box in the garden now in the next story what you can say uh, what you can see in the next uh, picture she didn't knew that amir is also standing behind any uh, behind a tree there she didn't know notice this thing that amir is also standing and amir is hiding himself and uh, behind a tree and she he is noticing that chami is digging a ground and she is hiding all the treasure there so what did what happened um amir then amir took away all the treasure from there and she took she got the honor of that treasure box alone what happened then when the uh, shami came back in the morning to see the treasure she she noticed that there isn't anything there there was no treasure box there someone has took away all that treasure from there and who someone was that he was amir because amir wanted to um make uh, the shami a lesson that uh the greed is curse greed is not a good thing okay and what you if you want to end up the story you can also say that at the end shami excuses amir and she said that she said that i'm i'm so sorry now uh, i will not do some kind of behavior i will not show some kind of behavior i will not show this kind of attitude now we will divide all that treasure again and <clears throat> she apologized for that but amir accepted his uh, her apologize or not you will have to do it by yourself you will have to write at the at the last one line that whether, uh, whether amir accepted his, uh, her sorry or not okay so this was uh, all about the story which i noticed that what happened in the story what comes in your mind what do you think that what happened in the third and the fourth picture you can write in your own words you can use your own imagination you can use your own words mind to write the story okay so this was all about today's lecture from page number 54 of synopsis of the play unit number 14 do it neatly and cleanly on your page number 54 so this was all about our today's lecture what you have to do is you will have to listen to the lecture carefully and you will have to do page number 54 of workbook but very really neat and clean okay so jazakallah for your attention this was all about our today's lecture we will meet inshallah in our next lecture till then take care allah hafiz